In the heart of the starter lies a precision-made shaft which has a two-start ball track in the center and a five-start ball track in the front end, separated by a collar. A drive nut, also with a two-start internal thread, runs up and down the ball track of the shaft. To minimize friction and to achieve smooth action, 16 ball bearings are held in place by a ball cage. The ball bearings are also located between the shaft and the drive nut. A drive sleeve with three equally spaced slots fits over the drive nut so that the lugs of the drive nut are secured in the slots. Opposite to the slotted end of the drive sleeve is the integrated bevel gear. This engages with the bevel pinion attached to the lower end of a winding shaft. Rotation of the winding shaft turns the drive sleeve via the gears, which in turn causes the drive nut to screw down the shaft along the slots. The energy of the starter is stored in specially designed dished springs, stacked in 12 pairs, concave surfaces facing each other on the drive sleeve. The spring stack is sandwiched between the gear flange and the drive nut lugs. This is then internally locked under a preload by the shaft collar at one end and the ball bearings at the drive gear end. If the shaft is held stationary and the drive sleeve rotated, the drive nut, by its screwing action, will compress the springs. If the sleeve is then prevented from rotating by locking the winding shaft with spring-loaded poles and the shaft is allowed to rotate, the stored energy will force the drive nut back along the slot of the drive sleeve and rotate the shaft. The locking of the drive shaft is achieved with a ratchet ring and a pole, which is attached by a link to a tripping lever. The ratchet fits over a drive pinion. This arrangement is held together by five ball bearings on the five-start ball track of the shaft. When the trip is operated, the lock disengages from the ratchet and the pinion is allowed to rotate. When the starter is set to operate, approximately two turns of the winding handle engages the pinion to the flywheel ring gear and a further 10 turns fully charges the starter, ready to start. Action of the trip lever disengages the paw from the ratchet and allows the pinion to rotate and start the engine, after which the pinion is back at its rest position.